This episode of the Titus Podcast brought to you by Harry's.com. One of the best shaves you can get. Go to Harry's.com, use promo code Titus to get an amazing deal. And now, the Armageddon update, Christopher Titus. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And I say happy Independence Day to all of you Americans, black and white, rich and poor, legal and illegal. Hell, white people were their first illegal aliens anyway. There was just no Indian Donald Trump to accuse him of being drug-dealing rapists. And boy, (laughs) we sure as hell were that. (sighs) Ah. Good times. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with the 4th of July. I love it because we are celebrating the best country in the world, the world's bearer of liberty and freedom. America is still a shining light on the planet Earth, no matter what you say, Norway. But I hate the 4th of July because we celebrate the best of America by behaving like the worst of America. We celebrate the best, strongest, richest nation on Earth and the founding fathers who gave their lives to create said nation, not by getting down on our knees and laying wreaths at the graves of these amazing men or having a read the Constitution out loud parties. You going? Sure am. We don't all take a minute while the president reads the Star Spangled Banner in front of a fireplace while we weep in appreciation for the country we are lucky enough to put our pants on in. No. We celebrate this awesome land we call home by plugging our arteries with processed meat and cheese and having a three-legged race to diabetes and then drinking all day until darkness arrives and the drunkest alpha male, he's the one with the shirt that says, Ha ha, I did your mom. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I got this uh, hot topic. He announces, Gather around, I'm going to set off the fireworks. I made my own bottle rockets. So don't gather around that guy because you don't want to be collateral damage. And besides, it's way more fun to give a prize to whoever finds his missing fingers while we wait for the ambulance. And then when the ambulance arrives, we can all go, ooh, ah. You know, we are told to be worried about terrorists this year. While none of us worry about the, what we're eating is terrorizing our colons. And the drinking every 4th of July is epic. Nothing says freedom, though, like getting locked up with a DUI. Hey, yeah, happy Freedom Day, guys. Hey, can you come bail me out? And did anybody find my fingers? But this 4th of July, where are we really as a nation? Well, our black president is leading a country that when he took over had an unemployment rate of 11%, and now it's 53 The stock market has doubled, and interest rates are 3%. And I can hear the anuses of the haters squeaking shut right now. But having the president be this successful is good for you, too, because he has made it so you made enough money these last few years to actually take a few days off and really hate Obama. And I'm going to say it right now. I like the guy. Obama, no scandals. Michelle is amazing. He's got the balls to sing off cave. You remember that? Amazing grace. Even the black people are annoyed. And this president, our first black president, has stayed alive for almost two terms. You know why? Because he never went jogging in Baltimore. Look, this is the first year that it feels like we are back to America again. People have money, people have jobs, and we are finally getting rid of the Confederate flag because this is America. And we only got one flag. And besides, you guys that love the Confederate flag, you lost that war. So let it go. Grab a burger and pound a few red, white, and blue canned Budweiser's because you are a goddamn American. I'm Christopher Titus. And this is the Armageddon Update. Oh, say can you see. Hey, everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. Uh, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the hell you are in the world listening to this. With me, as always, to the right, Bombshell Ray. What's up, people? Sitting by, being very quiet, is uh, the, is the fetus. Still have a job. Your yep. mic is supposed to be muted. Mute your mic. Wow. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mute so it. So we have a problem right now currently with Titus Podcast. Now that Willie is dead, Willie's gone, as you can listen to last week's podcast, and uh, Willie is not here anymore. Um, well, but I'm never going to really leave. It's not the same. Right. You like that we were tricking people, I think. I think you really enjoyed that we really tricked you. I actually didn't know that people believed it, but, I mean, some people I would see on the road, I knew that some people did. I didn't realize the extent to which people thought really was a wheel, uh, holy crap, really was a wheel person. Really was wheel. So here's how real right. he was. This is a weird This is a weird thing. By the way, we're talking about last week, uh, the death of Willie Jello Johnson. I admitted that I've been Willie for three years. You can go back and listen to it. It'll blow you away. But here's what happened since. So your sister, Shannon, mm-hmm. came and visited from <laughs> Sweden. Did you know this is what I was going to say? No, I didn't. Oh. But, I, but when you said it, it made me laugh. And she and her husband and her kids came over for dinner last week. And she listens to the podcast some. And we were talking about the death of Willie. And she said, wait, what? And she said, you, what do you mean you killed him? And you said, I killed him. 
And she said, what are you talking about? And you said, I'm, I'm not going to do that character anymore. And she flipped. Her, her mouth dropped to her chest. She was like, what? And I, she goes, really? Willie's not a real guy? And I went, and we burst out laughing because we thought for sure my sister knows I can do Your the Your sister didn't know right. that you were Willie. Right. That, I will say, shows how amazing you are. Oh, uh, look at you being nice to me. That's very nice. A lot of people actually did write in and talk about what a great uh, voice actor you are and that you should uh, maybe pursue something in that field. I'm going to do a, rec- a voice of recording, so maybe, I can be, maybe could Willie could be in a cartoon. Yo, how you doing, SpongeBob? What's up? <laughs> I mean, that, come on. I would totally, I would totally <laughs> go for that. Totally. Yo, Patrick, are you homosexual? See, Willie would actually be just say whatever was out there. Yo, Mr. Krabs, you, you the man keeping us down. See, that Willie would be a great character for SpongeBob. So we're actually we're discussing auditioning for a third chair on the podcast, right. which will be coming. It'll be coming up in the next. We're going to go through. Uh, we're going to have ten different ten, ten different weeks of auditioning for the third chair. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Fetus is sitting over there filling in for now. We're going to audition. Um, He's uh, a seat warmer. He's yeah, warming he, that chair. He is, exactly. Sure like the don't that talk. They, don't like talk. The they call it the Oscars. They He's just talking. sit there. And she, I, I, she's got a pro, You have a problem with it. I whatever your problem is with it. I, I for oh, I, you know. You can't just. Sit Sit there. You can't just sit and assume that you're going to be on the show. We have to invite you. I do have to you. say that. I do have to say that. He did just get up at the beginning of the podcast and just sit like in the was, chair. We have right. to invite and him. He, and he's going to say, well, Willie was here before, but Willie wasn't here. It was an empty it chair was, then, too. Right. And he just, but he didn't, well, now that Willie's not here, I can sit here. But fucking, there was no Willie anyway. What are you talking about? So people don't know this, but there mm-hmm. always was a third chair. And that was Willie's chair, and right. that chair sat empty, and you would know I was talking to Willie because I would talk to that empty chair when I was asking Willie a question, and right. so would you. You and I would address that chair when it was Willie's time. Because we're uh, mentally ill and also to let the other person know we <laughs> were talking we're to Willie. Because we're brilliant. <laughs> so now that you killed Willie, right. old fetus has just like jumped up in the chair today. So that's why I'm saying he can sit there, he can warm it, but he mutes his mic. you got to be invited. And if we ask him specifically... To then you can unmute and you can respond. But we'll tell you when you can unmute. See, he's giving you thumbs up. He, like, he's <laughs> signing you right now. She <laughs> runs things. At the end of the day, Bombshell runs things. We pretty much know that. So uh, here's what happened this week. So Fourth of July was on uh, Saturday. Mm-hmm. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope mm-hmm. everybody has all their digits. Hope everybody has uh, everything they need. By the way, uh, if you want to get the Titus app, go to uh, ChristopherTitus.com, download the Titus app. Also, we are doing something new this week. This uh, Armageddon update will be out in video form uh, on uh, my YouTube channel, Christopher Titus TV, at the end of today. I got to say, mm. it looks so cool. Yeah. And you still can't talk, but I'm going to say this to you, Fetus, that it looks amazing. Yeah. And Fetus is responsible for editing and things like that. That's what he went to school for, and yeah. he's really good at it. Yeah. It looks so cool. So you guys got to go check this out because you know I would say it sucks. Um, today's podcast is brought to you by... Harry's.com. Which we already said at the opening. All right, okay, guys. I want to make sure I get it all out before I start talking about what happened. So here's what happened this week. Uh, number one, 4th of July. I hope you had a good one. I went – my sister lives in Sweden. My sister and I had a fight – uh, years ago, we we had this. You ever had that weird rift in your family where, like, one night changed everything? Like, you were the best of friends. You had one stupid big fight that kept going and kept going and kept going, and all of a sudden, people aren't talking for years, and and then basically just festers like some sort of horrible virus and builds a big pus-filled bowl, and nobody talks to each other. So. I want to get rid of that. She lives in Sweden, which is great. By the way, if you really don't like your family, they moved to Sweden. Great. It's great. I don't have to for be, her. Yeah for, yeah, for her too, yeah. Because <laughs> she's the one that moved. Yeah, she's the one that She moved. was like, you know what, asshole, I'm out. But she's such a great person. My sister and her family and her husband, they're such great people. So they came into town, um, and they were, it's, it's where they're still residual because they hit, the, they hit the states, and they were like, we have it planned. Every second of our trip is planned. You can have from 4.30 on Thursday to 7.30, and then we're out. You know, they're going to see everybody. So I, they said, uh, you want to go to uh, this place? We have a place called Six Flags it's over Magic Mountain here in, in California. And it has some serious ass roller coasters. There's one roller coaster. There's only two in the whole world like it. One's in Japan. Um, and it is called Tatsu. Tatsu. Um, so we, we, I mean, my sister, you know, we're Tituses. We actually believe that we can hang with the kids. And let me, I just need to preface this for everyone that hasn't met Shannon, that Shannon is awesome. Totally awesome. Because Shannon is a female version of you. <laughs> you guys are so spawned from your dad. It's amazing. And when the two of you get together, it's hilarious to yeah. watch. It's like asshole squared. She's it a really very pretty really... version of you. Yeah. So we were. Uh, so we go to the thing together, and she's got. Uh, she's got three boys, 
and I've got my two kids. So we take her, me, and here's how scary this was. Her husband doesn't want to go, and, and Bombshell's not going to go. So it's me and my sister and five children. So we go, and, and, they're, and they're boys, except for my daughter. They're, it's four boys and one girl. And they're all up for anything. And we're adults, but we're like, we got this. We're Tituses. We're going to do this. You know, you don't want to feed us. You don't want to lose your, your, uh, your youth, right? Yeah, but you don't even notice you have it yet. One day you're going to notice, I used to have something that was cool, that I used to do stuff, and you're going to want to hold on to it. I'm still holding on to it. I'm still, you know, I can bench the double my body weight. <laughs> I'm lying, but I can do close. Listen, anyway, so we go to You'll never set. catch your body weight because your body weight keeps going up. That's the trick of age is you're like you're always trying to bench your body weight, but yeah, your body like, weight keeps going up why? and you keep losing muscle. Muscle. Thanks. I just, I, so Not I'm going to go kill myself after this uh, I mean, podcast. I'm going to go take my own life after this I podcast. I mean all, pe- all Whatever. people. Whatever. So, uh, so we go to this thing, and we start riding roller coasters. And I got this VIP thing. I, you know, I actually spent a little money because I don't, because I, it's so rare to see my sister, and I really want to kind of make up for the stupid fight we had. And so I got show this, off. I, and show off a little. No, I don't know. I didn't. I just we had a, we had we had a little bit of a windfall with the last special. So I said, I'm going to pay for this VIP thing, and we got a guide from the amusement park, which is super cool. So we all get to go, and we get to walk past through all the lines. By the way, people, you got to do this once in your life. Save your money, and because by the way, it was expensive where I was worried about it. Do this once in your life. Save money for a year and buy the VIP package because... I you, love that this is the thing you think people need to do once in their lives. They do. To go to an amusement park where we want to walk through a, a two-hour line, walk past it and get on first, and then, because we pay for it, they go, do you want to ride it again? Yes, we do. We, I, look, look at Fetus. Fetus is getting mad right now. <laughs> like, no, the best rides in the park. So we did this thing called Full Throttle, which scared the hell out of me. Um, and I thought I was going to puke instantly. I hold up pretty well. I think I hold up pretty well on this. Um, and by the way, once you hit a certain age, roller coasters are work. When you're a kid, they're wee, <laughs> but at a certain age, you're like, oh, I gotta have to, I'm going to I'm gonna have to tighten my core on this yeah. son of a bitch, <laughs> and if my head bangs against that thing one more time, I'm going to punch somebody. It's you got to lock. It's actually locked down really? every time you get on it. <laughs> it's more of an assault. At one point, when you're a kid, you're like, I can't believe it. As an adult, you're like, ah, oh, Jesus, I hope I survive this. Okay, my sciatica, I got to <laughs> hold my, okay, all right. right. My knees, oh, this is killing my These knees to sit bars like this. To, I'm going to hit my edge. That, that's a sharp edge right there. <laughs> so uh, we ride it's one, two, three, four rides and it's fun and I'm not getting sick. I'm, I feel a little that little that little that little shadow of queasy hanging in the back of my head. Like if you keep it up, you're gonna puke. That's why. So I learned early, don't ride it twice. The kids were like, "We're going again." I'm like, "No, I'm getting off." Well, yeah. a lot of people don't know that you can ride it twice. A lot of people aren't rich and entitled like you are. I <laughs> standing there with your valet. Up. I worked. Yes, my ass James, up. please. All these poppers in line. We'd like to go right past them again. Hello, Mr. Titus. Would you like to get onto the ride again? Everyone, step back. Christopher Titus and his people are coming through. They're from Sweden. They're incredibly white. Let them through. Through. Oh, these Southern California Hispanic brown people. Move aside! Mr. Titus is entering the ride! <laughs> now, we will ride it. You will wait there. You that were going to get on next? Yes, you will sit there developing cancer for your hatred for the white people. The people who as waited they, three hours. As they, as they just get on again. And then we're going to play. By the way, Mr. Titus, you're back now. How was your ride? Was that good? Would you like to go again? Shut up, people in line! This is Christopher Titus and his <laughs> white family. Let them go! I do understand that. I'm just saying anybody no, you can don't. do it. You I do. Totally don't get that. Anybody can do it. Because Fetus actually looked at you like people, you could ride it twice in a row, right? Like he's actually, do, he's miming. I actually like this fetus the best of all fetuses. It's like or he, it's, it's almost like he's in trouble for something. It's really. great. Yeah, she, and she's in charge of it. I'm because not... I love charades and I'm sort of playing charades this yeah, whole he, podcast. He made that, he One made... word sounds like... Yeah, he made Smell. that movement like his head exploded when I said you could <laughs> get good at it twice. So yes, we did do that. And by the way, people, anybody can do it. You just gotta, you just gotta lay down the bank, and it's, you save up because I had to save up too. So we we do this. Just, so. just don't buy a car one year. And it wasn't you, that expensive. You can do it Shut too. up. It wasn't you that expensive. You can do it too. And you can do it for just two people too. It's, go look at it. It's not that expensive. <laughs> it's not as expensive if you just pay for two people. It's more of a sensible compact car from the 80s. Mr. Titus <laughs> is doing so well that everyone can f- just follow us on. We use the Pied Piper of fun, Christopher Titus. Just write a check. He's throwing hundreds left <laughs> and right. People stay wait in line. Do you, you have the money? No, you're not part of the group then. Don't get on the right. So... I hate that you made me actually really notice what I did. But it impressed my sister. That's all I care about. And I love her to death. 
So my sister and I get on this thing. We after we've ridden like four rides, and there's a little queasiness coming. There's a little bit. I'm a little sweaty, but I don't feel that sick because I hadn't eaten anything. So we get on this ride called Tatsu. I don't know what you guys know what this is. Okay, roller coasters are not the same shit that I rode. We're going up. Have you, you, you don't even, remember you said you wanted to go? Have you been to Magic Mountain yet? You can say something. No. There you go. <laughs> is that okay? Is that a, can you say that? That's it, though. <laughs> Move on. I cannot believe Fetus is getting his ass handed to him like this. So, so roller coasters, you don't just sit in a car anymore and ride around. Now they've got one. The Satsu thing, you get on. It's hanging from the track above you. You sit in this chair. There's got a, there's a, there's not only is there a harness and a thing that comes over your, your legs and your arms, but then there's this weird pad that's, like, flexible. And I'm like, why is this here? All of a sudden, we all get locked in, and the ride goes, and we're now facing straight down to the floor. And the ride goes, we take off, and we are suspended a couple hundred feet in the air over nothing. And it is, we are flying like Superman, and it is the coolest shit I've ever been in my life. Except for there was a reverse loop that almost made me, I literally, my lunch went, we're coming out! You know, and, and, it, and we get done, and we, we pull up the thing, and I was like, that was the coolest roller coaster. And I look over at my sister, her arm, she's not holding on anymore. We're, we're, like, we're hanging prone in this thing, right? Like, like, and she's, she's, her arms are straight down. <laughs> and, we're hanging, and she's going, oh. <laughs> Ah, like how was that? She goes, ah, <laughs> and they stop us before we hit the thing where you just get off and on, and under every single person there is a burnt hole in the paint on the concrete. And she goes, "What's that?" I go, "That's the stomach acid that has oh. burned through all the paint. <laughs> That's how bad it was." So it was great, and we and then uh, so so we did I'm about four or five more rides. We did another thing called X2. X2 uh, is is the craziest roller coaster I've ever been on. You sit in it. Uh, you go backwards. My son and I are there. And uh, by the way, my son was just, he had to be 54 inches. He is just 54 inches. So he's, he's basically banging around in it like he could fall out at any minute. How many rides did you ride? How many 12, times about total? Uh, I think the kids did about 16. I did about 12. See, that's what entitled rich people do. 16. Okay, fetus is going to and explode. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Do go you ahead, remember? Do you remember? And you can nod to respond he Do can, you remember going to Six Flags or something and you would spend all day morning through the, yes, four rides. He's holding up the number four because you waited three and a half hours for all of the good ones. He's exactly. He's nodding. Yes. So, so you, but go ahead. 16 now? rides. I, we did 16 different ones. 16. And, and some of them twice. You did five days worth of parks in one day. <laughs> That's right. And, and by the way, I paid five days worth of parks what it costs. <laughs> um Anybody can do it. Just go, go go check it out. It's so Anybody cool. Anybody can do it. I didn't know they had it. I was online Sell your it house, out. and then you it can do it, too. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, so it anyway. was expensive enough that we got a notification from the bank, and I called you in a panic. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, something's <laughs> wrong. We, 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 identity theft. No, we're just going to Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> Did your husband go to Six Flags in the <laughs> VIP program? <laughs> No. Get life lock. He, he can never, never do that. Pay that. Uh, anyway. It was my sister, and it was the whole family. It was a bunch of people. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't that expensive? You were making it bigger <laughs> than it is. Uh-huh. Yes, you are. So uh, then we get on this thing called X2. Now, X2, it, it's like a train car. It's as big as a train car. you got people sitting on either side of it, and it goes backwards. So it goes backwards, but... Not it's called a fourth dimensional roller coaster. Not only are you sitting in it as you're going, the the thing spins, uh, uh, like like this way and this <laughs> That's way. That's clockwise. The clockwise and it just it spins <laughs> it spins on f- four different axes. The chairs are spinning as you're going through stuff. Mm. It was so cool and so sickening. And then at one point when you're just feeling really sick, it goes past these two flame things that blow flame right at the car. So it's hot all of a sudden. So that if you haven't vomited till then, <laughs> you're vomiting now. So it was a great time. So the kids are still – kids didn't stop. Kids, kids are great. By the way, children, I wish we could just take all children's essence and turn it into a drug that we could just take because we would all feel so much better. These – my kids and her kids went all day long. At one point, uh, my sister and I called. I said, I said, guide, come here, please. Guide, valet, please take the children on another ride. We're going to sit here and have a coffee and discuss things. So we're sitting in this little cafe at the thing, and I'm I'm sitting there drinking whatever I'm drinking, coffee. 
my sister has coffee sitting next to me. We, we talk about four sentences a piece. And I just kind of close my eyes and put them back like I'm getting kind of tired. And I nod it off in the middle of the day in this park. I wake up like 10 minutes later. I look over my sister. She has her hand still on her coffee cup, head back, mouth open, sleeping her ass off. <laughs> and she stayed like that for about 45 minutes. It was great. And great. that's when you knew you were old. That's when I knew that my sister and I... You know, it was good. It was good to know that I was getting old with somebody. It was good <laughs> that there was someone there that was also... I'm like, oh, good. I'm not a loser. We're losers together. This is great. Yeah, no, you're still a loser, but you right. have company. That's the thing. So that was my 4th of July weekend. Then we went to a friend's house on 4th of July. We didn't really get to see fireworks. We really didn't. We saw them in the distance because we wanted because we were older and we wanted to get home before the fireworks quit because all the ruffians would be on the road. As we heard some of the ruffians shooting off their guns at night. Mm, those bullets land somewhere, people, and they kill children. Moving on. <laughs> Happy Fourth. This guy is like, he has a splash of Hitler. Like, he's just, <laughs> he's almost, but not quite. That is a, a nice description of somebody. You know what, he's, he's all right. He's a little bit, little George Clooney, little, little, he's a little Jack Black with a splash of Hitler. <laughs> Oddly enough, of that combination, the part that really made me think I could not hang out with that guy is the Jack Black part. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, Jack Black. Uh, I like uh, Jack Black. A, a little bit of Hitler, fine. I mean, a little bit, right? Like, just a little bit. Yeah. All right. um, so one guy in Maine actually celebrated w- with fireworks. Now, I read this. Is this? I thought I, I thought this was from The Onion. I read this article today. you got to tell me what happened. But it's I in the New York is, Daily News is where I found is, it. I thought this was fake. And uh, go and tell what the guy did. 22 years old. His name is Devin Staples. Name was. Uh, name was. He set off a fireworks mortar tube on his head. So... Okay, so here's here's what what bothered me. I didn't understand how good you guys had it on the East Coast and in the South with fireworks. In California, because we have all the fires and stuff, mm-hmm. we have been limited to the crappiest fireworks on the planet for since I was a little kid. They set up these little wooden stands. And in New York, too, right? Do they have big fireworks stands? Yes. No, they don't. They don't, right? You have little, the little tiny things. And We're you're not, getting... not allowed to buy fireworks in New York. Period. Period. Okay, no. so we would get sparklers of those little snakes that just kind of use light them and they just go out or, or something that went. Oh, that was... no. We had these massive firework you... stands on the side of the highway. You don't know. You have full time firework stores. Yeah. Like, there's like, it's a building. It's a warehouse. I mean, warehouse. I live here, but. I don't know if you noticed. I live here. But, now, but in the South, we've, when you were growing up, you guys had these amazing things. I didn't understand it. You can go, people, California people and people that don't have fireworks, in the South, and this is another reason why the South wins in certain things, you can just pull up to a fireworks warehouse and buy the kind of shit that they light off that a city council lights off on 4th of yes. July. And then they... you could go across the street to the DAC shack, the daiquiri shack, and get a giant extra large Slurpee. styrofoam like tub of daiquiri. Yeah, it's a bit Slurpee with vodka in it. Pure, yeah, totally like rot gut, pure liquor, yeah. While you have your fireworks. Yes. And that's America, people. It's a drive through daiquiri. So, you, so this guy took so, – so when I say the guy put a mortar on his head, he didn't put one of those little cones that shoots sparklers out of it. He put a full-on – they launch it from a barge in New York Harbor during the centennial – during the bicentennial mortar on his head and lit it. Now, okay, supposedly he was 22. His brother's 25. He was visiting his brother in Maine. Mm-hmm. His brother says that he was holding a lighter – and it accidentally caused the firework to go off. Yeah, because, you know, the one thing you should do around explosives is to just kind of be a random with your lighter. Just move the lighter around but a lot. But you would have to explain to me why it was on his head yeah, to right. begin with. But supposedly he was just being funny. He thought it was a hat. He was joking around. Mm-hmm. Somehow the lighter got all the way, way up on top of his head Where to the- light the fuse. And it wasn't supposed to, but it went off. But his brother says that he was about five feet away from him. And when he went to help him there he quote there was no Devin left when i got there so basically so here's how these things work it's a cannon it's a cannon with a mortar in it that shoot and by the way the power of it it shoots at 500 feet or 300 feet up in the air so and, and when you're standing near it you can feel the ground move your vertebrae have little tiny spongy things in them that are supposed to take shock and it's connected to your this big bowling ball of a head is connected to a little pencil of your neck. And you put an explosive cannon on your head and lit it. 
I want to say, as bad as I feel for the people that know the guy, this man is one of the dumbest human beings I have ever, ever in my life. Your whole life you're taught, don't play with fireworks. Be careful, right? Your whole life from the time you're a baby. Do you want to guess where he lived? Is it Florida? Yes, no. Orlando, Florida. There you go. Well, then you go. We, we don't even need. To, we, we don't even need to ask why. We now know why. My God, people are stupid. Yes, especially people in Florida. Florida. What is it about Florida? Hey, everybody, look, I'm Mother Cannon on my head. I'm sure nothing's going to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a head left after. Actually, yeah. it just blew his whole head off. I it, guess. Yeah, it blew his whole. Yeah. Which I am going, I'll be honest, I didn't read the story, but I came in today to do the podcast and I sat down and you told me, hey, did you hear about the guy? And I burst out laughing. Yeah. Bombshell. I shook laugh. Bombshell uh, heard about the 4th of July accident where the man put a cannon on his head and blew his head off. <laughs> when and, you say it like that, it's hilarious. And laughed hysterically <laughs> for five minutes and then she looked it up. And, well, uh, when you look it up and he has a name, you know, that's more depressing. And you see, was he a dog walker? He walked dogs, he yeah. His brother said he liked guy. to help people. Yeah. And he walked by walking dogs. I yeah. don't know that he was necessarily a go-getter. Good heart, no common sense. Yes, but he has a nice face, as my great-grandmother had. used to say. Had. He had before. Now, people think sometimes I am, and you guys can tell me, I think I am harsh, dark, or whatever. I don't think I'm dark. I am oh just... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't. I'm just aware when stupid you call... Why can't... <gasps> He's right, Penis. Penis is mime laughing. Why can't you call stupid when it's stupid? Why <laughs> am I a dark. Why am I a bad guy? Oh, uh, let's recap. For All calling right. stupid Fetus, when it's hold stupid. up the number one. Number one comedy mm. special, Norman Rockwell is bleeding. Right. Mother, manic depressive, schizophrenic, alcoholic, in and out of mental institutions, kills her last husband. I and re- I say last because they don't give you another one after, after that. that. Right. Abusive, alcoholic father. Okay. Uh, girlfriend bangs another guy on a table and then you marry her. That's number. <laughs> hold up number two. Number two, these baby are, born before 9-11. These are just facts of my life. Nails a uh, priest was- that was molesting children to a cross behind him, Pedophile crucifixion, yeah. right? Okay, let's just, we go, there's so many we'll more in that, that one, but week. we'll go to number three. Number three, wife. Love is evil. Bang, uh, bangs a bunch of old people. <laughs> gets gigantic like boobs. Bingo. <laughs> Pretty okay, much right. she did. Right. That's where she was finding them. Uh, calls you a wife beater. Mm-hmm. You lose your children. The turning point in that special is where you hold a gun, you look for a gun to kill yourself. Okay. And, I, and I act that out on the station. Number four, uh, that's never Lucian. Uh, never Lucian. What do you talk about? You talk World about Bart, uh, Lady Gaga's proof that David Bowie raped Carol Burnett. Right. Okay. Go I, ahead. Are uh, you playing the, the kid, game now? Beating the kid at the DMV. Fat scra- children. Scaring the kid at the DMV. Yeah. yeah. What is your joke about fat kids um, at the water park? There are in the parking lot. What? What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> children are so... Oh, children are so bad. The water about pedophiles are leaving? What was the joke? I forget the joke. They're puking in the parking oh, yeah. lot. Pedophiles. I saw at the water park. There were so many See fat how he kids. laughs. Pedophiles. He doesn't think it's dark. Pedophiles were puking in the parking lot. Like, I got to get out of here. I can't do <laughs> this anymore. I can't right? do this but anymore. But that's not dark. I'm, I'm off the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> number five that's just funny voice in my head mm-hmm. although a little more levity and voice in my head fetus agrees um there is the turning point again in number five what a loser uh, I am. about what a loser you are about losing your tv show about contemplating suicide worst night of your uh, worst time of your life right. um Number six, that was Angry Pursuit of Happiness, where you do a 22-minute bit about arming the children. It's an 18-minute bit, first of all, oh. <laughs> and I don't understand. See, why – okay, so here's the weird thing. Hold on. I, just – Okay. Go ahead. But you're not dark. Thank you. I, it doesn't uh, – see, when I think of dark, I think of Doug Stanhope and I think of Bill Hicks. I don't think of me. I think of – I'm just trying to write bits like Carlin wrote bits. That's, that's dirty dark. Right. You're just dark. Your dark isn't tempered with anything. It's straight up. Your dark is neat. I'll take my comedy <laughs> neat. Okay, but I, I don't, okay, all right, all right. So anyway, I don't think, <laughs> I just think I'm doing what's funny to me and, 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 and that it's funny to me is, I, all right, all right. I guess I'm not everybody's cup of, uh, cup of tea. Okay. All right. 
Um, and I see the guys that get really super famous, and they're not dark at all. They don't have any of the guys that get super famous. Jim Gaffigan know. and Brian Regan, not dirty or dark at all. Right. Um, Fluffy, not dark at all. Gabriel, I got I to gotta get this out. Um, it's about Bill Cosby, and I've just been waiting. Speaking I of would like to say dark comedians. You cannot speak about me because I have my attorneys on the line listening every minute of the day, you see. Your attorneys have failed you, Mr. Cosby, because he did. I had to wet my whistle before I got to this. This is is this old people still kicking it? Uh, Oh, no. Something new. He did a deposition in 2005. Do you remember the case uh, um, where the woman sued him? Okay. And he settled out of court. It was a civil case where she was just seeking money. Was it a a class action? uh, Because there was also a class action where like eight women. No, this is the one, um, her name. You're right, that one was in 2009. So there was one in 2005, too. <laughs> On, do you remember the Andrea Kahn stand one? Okay. She sued him in 05 civil. She was just, she wasn't, it was, I think maybe statute of limitations had run out. She was just trying to get money, which I would too. If you couldn't get him in jail, at least take something. Right. But the man has so much money. Well, anyway, so he had to do a deposition under oath in 2005, which his attorneys had sealed immediately after. Uh-oh. Which the why would you seal it if you didn't say anything bad? Associate because it could damage his livelihood, um, his ability to make money. He settled out of court, and this was part of the terms of his settlement. AP just sued to get it opened, to freedom, get it released freedom, under the Freedom of Information Act. Exactly. Oh no! So now oh, this no. deposition, which had been part of a sex abuse lawsuit <sighs> that was settled for an undisclosed amount of money, has now been made public as of Monday. As a as a result of this lawsuit by Listen, the Associated Press. Listen, if you're Press. going to talk about the people of raped, and I have sealed the rape, the rape testimonies, I don't believe that this law, Constitution, states that they can take the rape testimony and put it in the paper, you see. So what I would like to say is I would like to do a cartoon where I do the voices and we do the rape deposition. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bill Cosby raped today. <laughs> If Willie were here, Willie would have gotten mad. <laughs> right then, he would have gotten mad. Hey, the Bibble. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bibble, you been giving that woman the drugs? <laughs> now, let's just go back and see what the gang is doing about the rape allegations. <laughs> You're an idiot. Hi, did you ever watch the show? It was a little before my time. <laughs> I vaguely remember that. It's Friday. <laughs> and I'm going to sing a song for you. So what happened? <laughs> he just By the way, we should out. actually you should give it to me. I should read the rape allegation, the testimony as Fat Albert. Or or you could just read it as Cosby. So let's see how funny we Do they have it? Have they printed part excerpts? I don't have excerpts of oh, the great. but I can just give you I can sum it up for you. Yep. And two sentences or less. Um, he admitted giving her, um, she was a former Temple University employee, three oh. half pills of Benadryl, which you know is an antihistamine. It makes people tired. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe she got a bee sting. He also admitted to buying quaaludes with the intent of giving them to women he wanted to go to bed with. Okay. All right. There we go. Well, now we're, we're both back. the now woman. We're here's the quote. Of... Both the woman, oh, Andrea no. Constan, who was suing him, as well as an unspecified number of, quote, other people. Uh, His wow. attorneys objected to the deposition being unsealed, saying the testimony would embarrass the man who once was America's most beloved comic but has now become a pariah. Well, okay, so let's be clear. I, I love when, when attorneys, first of all, attorneys, by the way, are the scummiest, lowest form of life on the planet. You know, I never used to understand attorney jokes, and I hired four or five of them, and they are the worst, lowest, scummiest. They don't care about anything. They don't care about you. People, don't hire an attorney. Figure it out. If, you, if someone's suing you, get an mediator, sit down and talk to them about it. So these attorneys sit there and they go, well, he was America's most beloved entertainer. Now he's a pariah. No, 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 no. He raped like 28 women, and now he's a pariah. It's like saying, you know, Hitler, uh, you know, Hitler used to be the leader of Germany, and now he's hated around the world. He's a pariah. He's a pariah now. Well, yeah, but he just, he kills six women. Which he would say about that. (laughs) I did not kill him myself. Other people misunderstood my words and they killed the Jews. I said give them showers. I did not say gas them in the showers. Jesus. (laughs) I love 
that Hitler is frustrated. <laughs> That's angry Hitler. <laughs> this has not gone the way I wanted to it at all. How did he want it to go then? <laughs> I just wanted a nice place in Poland. <laughs> Uh, you've actually made fetus sit back away from the mic. You've actually, there is no hope any longer about speaking on this <laughs> Yo, podcast. I didn't do anything. I was fine with him talking. You're you the were one that not. seems to have a problem. I was fine You're with so it. You're so full of shit. Because he's always, he doesn't go, he doesn't try to outdo You're it. You're so full of it. I'm fine with him talking. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's still miming. I he's know. still miming, people. <laughs> he just shrugged. <laughs> so we will ask... We will ask Fetus specific questions. Are you putting a bucket of liquid down on the table? I like it echoes okay. in. Do you hear it? So it is a, so loud. All right. So I'm sorry. I mean, need some pads. So uh, I'm reading this book right now called um, Radical Remission. And basically it's about how people who had got chemo and had got all these cancer drugs. Um, I'm reading it from Mom Shell. Uh, and me, by the way, and how they how they change it. Turns out there's nine things. There's over a thousand cases to, uh, of radical remission. And the weird thing is, doctors don't don't mark them down. They're like, oh, we don't want to give people false hope. You're not giving them false hope if they cured cancer. You're actually showing them how to cure cancer. So there's nine things, uh, uh, organic alternative medicine things that these people did after the, there's about 75 things they all did, but there's nine specific core things that they did that they all had in common. Right. So I'm reading it. And one of the things is uh, juicing greens, no animal products, no dairy at all. They said dairy, sugar, and red meat will kill you. It just feeds cancer. Sugar, cancer uh, is cancer is anaerobic. It actually doesn't need oxygen to live. It needs sugar to live. If you kill, if you stop eating sugar. Your cancer will die. Mm -hmm. That's what will happen. Um, uh, whereas the rest of us, you know, our, our blood cells and stuff are uh, aerobic. They need air. They need air. So anyway, so I'm reading it, and so you bring me juice now. I have this big thing of juice. Creation Juice is a place on, in, in Toluca Lake here in, uh, in L.A. I'm and, in love with Creation Juice. Well, I'm not in love with how much it costs. It, it costs is, a lot. It is for this much juice. This I should get this I should have juice? bushes. No, <laughs> juice. Juice? <laughs> I said I did not. I said I wanted to get rid of six million pounds of juice. Not juice. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Nobody understands me anymore. What if I gotta stop screaming, maybe? So So it's just what's it's, your part? I it just seems to be really healthy. It's really expensive. It's a large bucket of. It's a but it's like it's like. 16. I call this one poop juice. It's like sixteen, yeah, which is not the best name. Your you know, your marketing classes are not shining through on that. I'm getting you some poop juice. No, I'm good. I'm fine. And she's like, it's not made from poop. It just makes you poop. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I know that. I just don't want something called. Poop juice, and you call it that, but the company Creation doesn't. Uh, company Creation juices just the best. That's our favorite juice place now. They're just really expensive. It's ridiculous. I love, I love it. It actually made. This is one of the few that I notice a difference when I drink it. I love this your, chia what, seeds. A, you, a difference in what? Oh, okay. No, uh, I that. wasn't gonna say. Just energy, um, regularity, vitality. I don't Joy. know. <laughs> Poop. I don't know. I think it's great. It gives me, it's great. <laughs> Angel dust falls out of my eyes. It's really good. <laughs> I I just, I like that juice. All right. Juice. All right. Uh, do we want to talk about Harry's.com? Do you want to talk about Harry's.com? I, I just want to tell people that this company, they own their own factory. Okay, so Harry's.com. By the way, uh, razors are expensive. I go to Costco. I buy that uh, 50 pack of razors sometimes. And it's it like, is so expensive. It's, no, it's, no, it's a 24-pack, and it's 50 bucks for these little things that they're making but by the billions. That's actually cheap, comparatively speaking. Right. If you This to, is why we are so big on Harry's. It's amazing that you can go to a store. You can go to a, to a pharmacy or whatever, and they've got the razors. Like, lock, Have you been there trying to buy a razor? And it's locked up. Yeah. That you have to you have to go in and you have to be like, could I get someone? Hi, I'm not a criminal. Could I get someone That's to get thing. me a razor? I always think it's weird. I always try to look unsuspicious <laughs> when I'm waiting for it, you know, because they always it's like this is high hot commodity in CVS and if you want it, they size you up first. And if they don't like your look, they'll take it to the register well, to always, wait for you. See, that's why I always, when I buy razors at a CVS or Rite Aid, I always go in with Scruffle. I do just too. So I'm serious. Me I don't too. go clean shaven. You don't need a razor. Me you too. You lying piece of shit. Yeah. I don't want that to happen to me. I always so. go hairy. 
Speaking of Harry, Harry's dot com. H A R R Y S dot com. That marketing. was nice. See, that's my marketing class coming into play. So um, we. W- we do Harry's ads a lot because we love them. We actually really do love them. And I just think for what you get for that little that little package, plus you get you, so it's fifteen bucks. They ship for free, and if you use the code for for t- Titus, Titus, yeah, code Titus, it's ten bucks. Right, you get five dollars off, or if you get the super premium package with the mm-hmm. heavy stainless steel blade, like the one that you got yep. that they sent you, um, then you get five dollars off of that, and it's twenty bucks. So here's how good. Let me just say, here's how good this product is, because you and I are super skeptical, um, but Fetus was here, and he said, "Well, I've tried this other." brand that I won't mention that's very cheap and he said I've never tried that so he goes online he goes on their website before you got here and we're sitting there and he's looking at it and he said first of all I love this website it's a really nice website because that's kind of in his arena. That's you, what he is does. She, is she making this up? No, no, this actually happened. Because she's not letting you talk, so she could just be he's making nodding, shit. He's nodding, though. I'm okay, nodding. I, all right. He's nodding the whole time. They can hear right, the air all right, going nodding. by his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he goes and looks at it, and then I told him your whole theory about buying the the basic package, getting $5 off. You've paid $10 for something that looks like it costs 40 bucks, and keeping it as a gift. And he, dead serious, says, well, I've got some friends that have birthdays coming up. I'm going to do that. And it's in the cool box and it's stuff. super cool. Right, and you, and you only spent 10 bucks, and they think, oh, this is great, thank you. It looks like a whole rest of, like shaving kit. I'm like, yeah, I, that's what I thought. And he commented um, on the fact of how much nicer this looks compared to the competitor brand that he tried one time that's cheaper in quality. Well, they're German blades. They have their own factory in Germany. They're what? They're, they're German blades! <laughs> and they cut clothes and smooth. <laughs> what is it about that voice that you love so much? It's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, harrys.com, guys. Use, uh, use the uh, code TITUS, and uh, it's like 10 bucks for like a whole shaving kit thing. 10 bucks, $5 off the starter set. Mm-hmm. Start shaving smarter today. I will say this, guys. Uh, when I use the Harry's blades, uh, Mom should let me snuggle her. I not, love him. I love I'm not scruffling. I told Fetus too. I'm I love going. the gel. I had a I had a chick hit me up that listens to the podcast and asked you if stole. I would choose gel or the gel. shaving cream. I did steer, totally total stole. steer. But for your legs, ladies, and oomph, other parts, get the gel. I highly recommend the gel. Super I, awesome. I just even, I don't know what she's jelly. Here's now. what I do I say uh, get the starter set, $5 off with our promo code Titus, and then give it to him as a gift. So you've covered your gift giving for whatever the holiday is, and then steal the gel back and use it in the shower. Pretend it's his, but just use it. It's that free well, he, shipping, he, man. He is getting the benefit out of it, too, though. If you're, if you're, if you're, ladies, you're shaming your legs, he's getting the benefit. Right. As a dude, I can go, okay, okay. Uh, all right, guys. And now, from continent to continent, sea to shining she, and sh- she to shining she. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes, space. <laughs> it's Bombshell Ray with the Bombshell News. Uh, Fetus just mimed a bomb blowing up <laughs> because that's all he's allowed to do. <laughs> That was that was a big bomb. He may earn his way into the podcast by being no he's, miming is way better. Uh, <laughs> it's it keeps me entertained sometimes when you're talking. I can just look over and Very he's nice. doing I like a whole that I do nothing to keep mime you show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you need anything. to work on the miming though, and you need to wear the gloves and do the box. <laughs> and now he's doing it. Except you're it's hey the- fetus is in a Harry's dot com box. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry, I'm trying to do my marketing. Speaking too. of boxes. Ladies, get the shave gel. Oh, from Harry's and then what happened? She talked about yeah. Get the what? Here's what's wrong with our society. Mm. Krispy Kreme is celebrating its birthday by selling a dozen donuts for seventy eight cents. <gasps> Here's the thing. They've been around for 78 years, right? So the, here's the catch. You have to purchase the first dozen donuts in order to claim your second dozen. So you go home with 24 donuts. I should have let you do that math. Wow. 12 times 2 is 72. 22 <laughs> times 6 is 37. 22. I know that 12 plus 12 is 20. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> That's crazy. I love. I love that you can't. They can't just do like a promotion for a week where they just sell a shitload of donuts for any sense. They'd still make their money because I think it costs like a penny to make a donut. But that you have to buy another full price. That sucks. Speaking of cancer, and here's right, our ad exactly. for Krispy Kreme, and I'll put it out there. Right. You want cancer? 
Eat 24 <laughs> Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> right. Yes, you saved money. Yes. The, I can say, don't shake your head, Why are you no. shaking your head? I can say from personal experience, knowing what's in them, that those items that are in those donuts are known to be cancer-causing. Yeah. I'm just shaking cancer. my head because I don't think I could physically eat 24 oh. Krispy Kreme donuts. Not only that, but you, you know what? And if you can if you can sit down and one, eat 24 Krispy Kreme donuts, you, 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 you deserve cancer, I think. If you can sit down and crank down 24. Four Krispy Kreme donuts. That's craziness. And you shouldn't give them to other people either. I actually make. I love to to make like s- stuff. I will for say holidays. this about Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme is so good though, especially with the hot oh sign my on. Gosh. That, uh, As Bill Bellamy get- says to women, though, <laughs> mind your business, ladies. When the hot sign's on, it ain't calling you. <laughs> <laughs> it does though. It used to call. It calls me. I have eaten hot Krispy Kreme donuts. In the parking lot, desperately alone before in my car. Before you pull out of the drive-through, oh, you're yeah. already two in your second one, and you know what? Sometimes they're so good that cancer. Okay, I can they're take all, chemo. They're like liquid. It's worth when a little bit, so of, hot. A little bit so of chemo. Good. I'm gonna so I'm gonna eat these 24 donuts. I'm gonna have to go to chemo. Okay, and then once I cure it, I'm in remission. I'll have another 24 and go to chemo again. That's how good Krispy Kreme donuts are. Next story. That's terrible. Um, I love this story because I, it's me. So this chick, Andrea Camilleri, I don't know where she's from, got a parking ticket tossed because of a missing comma in the statute. Um, <laughs> an appeals court has agreed with an Ohio woman who said her parking citation should be tossed because the village law was missing a comma. Camilleri. Oh, Camilleri. They give you a, a um, pronunciation thing right here next to her name. Camilleri. Says she shouldn't have been issued a citation in 2014 based on the wording of the law okay. enacted by – it's a villi- village in Ohio. I don't know why it's still called a village, but whatever. Um, it's the, it's quaint. The law lists several type of vehicles that cannot be parked longer than 24 hours, including a motor vehicle camper. Oh, but it should have said motor vehicle, comma, camper, camper. Comma. It was The comma was missing between vehicle and camera. Cam, holy crap. Camper. Uh, Camilleri says her pickup truck did not fit that description. And so she bought it and it got thrown out. You know what's interesting about that? I love, I hate when, when loopholes, uh, we had a case recently and a loophole was used against us. I love when, I love when other people get away with it. I really do. I wish, I was, I, I love when I get away with it too, but I, I wish to God, I, when, when, the, when the good people use a comma. To save their asses. Commas aren't really like helpful. Comma Larry. Commas aren't really helpful in life. Her they name was Comma Larry. Com- Actually, yeah. I didn't think about that. That's comma, great. Commas never won a war. This is going to be known as the Comma but this, Larry. But that missing comma saved her ass. And I have to say that as someone who doesn't understand phonics at all, mm. <sighs> that wouldn't be phonics. But exactly, that's what my point. Oh, thank you, comma. You're welcome, fetus. Fetus is saying thank you. Thank someone you. Someone doesn't understand punctuation at all. Punctuation. Punctuation or or phonics. You get really punctuation or phonics. <laughs> At my stupidity, yes. I ain't, I ain't much for book learning. I'm Christopher <laughs> Titus. I ain't much for book learning. I can put together some cool phrases, but I ain't much for book learning. Don't make me write them down. A moment man slices friend's nose off with a sword after betting he could chop sausage in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> One man leans what back with a sausage oh. in his mouth. And his friend has the sword. No. Party goers are there. They're cheering in the background as the swordsman readies himself to swipe. He misjudges his swing and cuts his nose off. (laughs) And actually, you can see it. There's a video (laughs) that they have grabbed. No, you can't watch it now, Fidei. Pull it up. No. Well, see, if you had stayed in your chair over there, you You could could be watching the video. But now you screwed the pooch by he jumped over here. Yep. Got all... Yo, man, you look like I gave up that chair, man. Don't do that. <laughs> it makes me sad. It's just like, it's just like teasing me. Oh. Um, anyway, if you want to go watch the video. Oh, but Hitler's fine. I, I think Hit- Willie's perfect. I love Willie. Yeah. It's hard. I do, too. To say goodbye. I did it for the right reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, go watch the video. I just thought this so, guy kind of so, goes okay, with the fireworks guy. What at what level of drunk on Fourth of July are you that you go? They go. You know, we've been drinking. We have all our friends here. We're having a great conversation, and we're gonna blow shit up in a couple of minutes. I know, but I'm kind of bored. I feel like this. Ha- I think this was in hey, uh, Steve? the UK. Steve, what if you put a what if you put a banger in your mouth 
and I'll try to cut off a sword. I'm an, I'm almost a ninja for God's sake. I'm, bo- I'm 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 borderline ninja right now. I got me samurai sword that I stole from my uncle who who fought in you know fought with Japanese in World War Two. So I put the sausage up, put it like a big old big old wanker sticking out, and I'll cut it right off. Well, there's no problem. We do it. Right, right. How much Guinness have you had? Not enough. Exactly. It's the right <laughs> answer, boy. It's the right answer. And then they did, and he, and what did that? What happened to the party after that? They, he cut his whole nose off or the tip of his nose off? This was in the UK. I would guess that they kept partying. Wow. This is like you just set just it on a guy ice with and two get holes to it. In his face. <laughs> just a man with two full holes, big giant holes, just. <laughs> 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 this is you, your friends putting cold beers in your hand cold after beers. I fell into a bonfire. Cold beers. Yeah, here's the thing. One beer in each hand after you fell into a bonfire. My friend didn't push me in the bonfire. He didn't doing? push me. He's in the miming, bonfire. having his well, nose cut off. Well, he laid down on his back. I'm sure I had the sausage sticking out, and the guy was going to cut it off. So the guy just went. So so he whipped across and went right. and cut the guy's nose off. Right. So did he get the sausage too? Right, they didn't say that. They, of course, I'm sake. sure. Because that's, that's you a, would have to go past the sausage wi- to get the nose. Obviously, your mouth is closer than your but nose. But that's a wind fail, right? Wind sausage nose. Oh, very different than a windfall. <laughs> yeah. Wind fail. Wow, that was almost like a literary joke. <laughs> Yay! <was> like, <laughs> Next special. There were like seven people out there that majored in English in college that were like, hell yeah. No, they didn't say it. They laughed like this. They went, ha, 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 ha. It was very good. Just very, very quick when no one else understands it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. My favorite jokes are the ones that no one else understands. No, oh, you have a lot of you them. You idiots. <laughs> Name your baby, quinoa, and BJ's might give you $10,000. Wow. Do you want a $10,000 gift card? (laughs) But the $10,000 is a gift card to BJ's Restaurant and Brew House. So you have to eat $10,000 worth at their restaurant. What is the thing with weird names now? It announced Wednesday that in celebration of its new quinoa bowl dishes, it is offering this massive gift card to parents who name their newborn baby after quinoa. Okay, how do we pronounce that so it sounds like a name? Well, you and most of your friends call it Quinoa. Yo, Quinoa, get in here, baby. Okay. (laughs) Get your brother Wilder Rissy. What? Wild right. I know what it is. (laughs) All right. Dunk. (laughs) What? Why did you say what then, you idiot? (laughs) I hate everybody. Clank thud. Uh, Georgia, did you guys see this? Georgia Confederate flag parade ended in an auto Mobile accidente. No, no, come on. Yeah, you this. can go watch the, Wait, the video con- of it. There was a Confederate flag parade? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh people are so determined. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're going to have to have a little uh, more discussion about little this. A little powwow. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me what happened. Uh, so they were having a parade. This was in Dalton, Georgia, an area I am familiar with. A uh, parade of Confederate flags. Um, if you go on YouTube, you can watch this video. This it's actually a black dude that is videoing it, and he's videoing it saying, "Oh my gosh, can you believe this? This is ridiculous! Holy crap!" And then clank, bank, crash. They run into each other, and the guy holding the camera actually goes, "God don't like ugly." <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you do parading the Confederate flag? We are racist. Yes, we be gonna hang black people from a tree. What are the what like? What is the cadence as you're doing the? Like, here's the thing about the Confederate flag. Because by the way, I wrote something for Facebook called uh, the American Swastika. It got like 325,000 people saw it. Um, I got a lot of pissed off people, a lot of people pro, a lot of people negative. I want to ask you people that are pro Confederate flag why. The guy, William Tappan Thompson, the guy who designed it, flat out said that it was a white – it was a symbol to prove white supremacy. It was a symbol to show that the black man was less than the white man. That's what it was, that was, it was designed as. These people now – and I had a big Twitter war today with some people about it. What is the fuck is wrong with you that you have 20 percent of the American society that sees a Confederate flag and all they can remember is slavery, getting hung from trees. They remember that getting buried in the fields, their ancestors being enslaved for five centuries. What is wrong with you that you want to continue to fly it? No. And okay, that aside, let's just say it's not the most racist symbol in the world, but it is from the first stitch. It was a racist symbol. Let's go to the next thing. The next thing is you fucking went to war treasonous war against the country you lived in tried to split off and you fucking lost 
So, and then you get to fly your flag. We don't fly the Japanese flag. We don't fly the German flag. You're out of your fucking mind if you think it's a quaint reminder of the South. Are you an American or not? I love the people that want to fly the Confederate flag think that they are America. Well, then fucking take that flag down. Take the flag down of the losing side. Take the flag down of the racist side. As By the way, I tweeted this out and I got credit for it, but I want you to know Bombshell said this. Bombshell said, if you ever find yourself on the same side as the Ku Klux Klan, you need to rethink your position. And then I wrote, or and, and also how to spell Klan. It's a C. C-L-A-N, you fucking idiots. It's also Ku Klux Klan. I uh, because I said Ku Klux Klan because I'm from California. And someone said, hey, it's Ku Klux Klan, not Ku Klux Klan. And I said, that's right, because those people would never have a clue. Boom! Nailed the Klan again! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, right, Fetus? I you're, don't you're, agree with him every time. He doesn't all the time. He he's, he's, he's just, Don't look uh, exasperated sometimes, with sometimes me. Sometimes he puts his head down and he just shakes it. He does but do that I a lot. I have to ask him a question and respond. Your generation doesn't have any connection to this flag thing at all, right? No. Like, you don't... Do, well, you, not care, for, not do you care I'm either from. way? He's from New York. I'm from New York, so that's heavy north. So we... There's no really Confederate flag, anything there. I know, but what is your opinion, being a 23-year-old, what's your opinion of this whole thing? I'm pissed because... It's time, like, the, like people you're go, so what? pissed that your chair is going squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. squeeze. I, I'm just tired of like, if you want to start the healing, like, like the, Here's a problem to you people that are fighting for the Confederate flag. When Alabama, the <laughs> the governor of Alabama, under all of a sudden got like, oh right, why are we still flying this shit? And he ordered all the Confederate flags taken down over every government building in Alabama. When Alabama jumps on the we're not going to be horrible, brutal, racist anymore train. Maybe the rest of you should. Everyone my age just thinks it's dumb bigots who fly that flag. Right. You know, you know, we judge people who, right. f- who use the flag. While I do understand coming, being from the South, um, that there are generations now that have that flag on stuff, not because they are necessarily bigots nor dumb, but that they grew up with that flag. Their parents had it. They are used to seeing it. But my whole issue, so without attacking everyone, although certainly there are some racist motherfuckers that use this flag. Yep. But I would say to everyone, those people that I was just talking about that have just become accustomed to it, that if you know that it offends that many people, and not just black people, a lot of all colors of people. Right. But even if it were just black people. 20% of the society. Why are you so determined to keep it up? It doesn't make sense to me. If you, like, to me, I would just be like, well, you know what? I'm white. It has nothing to do with me. That really upsets my friend Mahogany. It really upsets my friend Janine. I don't want anything to do with that. Right. I, I, it, I am not attached to it. I didn't fight in the war. You didn't fight in the war. You weren't even here, and they lost. I mean, should we belabor that point? <laughs> I, I think I did. I okay, belabored good. It. I belabored belabor it loud. away. I belabored it loud. And like I said on the last podcast, I read moving excerpts from their moving papers when they were trying to secede from the Union, and every single one, every state identified slavery as one of the reasons that they were doing that. And here's the thing. If you if you are a group of people that are flying the flag, you want to have a parade, and in the midst of the parade, with all the cars going in the same direction, slowly, you have a car accident, maybe we shouldn't really follow uh, your ideas. Maybe your However, ideas. I will say this. Mm. Nick at Night has pulled Dukes of Hazard, uh, and I far. think that's a load of horse Too shite. far. Too far. Right. The show was not founded on any racist principles. <laughs> Those were all extremely left-wing liberal California actors. Daisy Duke still is here and has yep. kids that go to school. John Schneider. Yes. I mean, and she still wears Daisy Dukes, apparently. I'm just saying that it wasn't, there, was, uh, there wasn't any, I, that I remember, any racist promotion. All they had was the Confederate flag on the General Lee because it was named the General Ooh-wee. Lee. Bo and Duke been on a lynching. Oh, Roscoe's going to be mad now. Let's see if they can get out of this one. But that's just <laughs> stupid. That's like that over-the-top, over-PC yeah, stuff that's too where far. now you're going to pull a TV show that I grew up with. I used to make out with our buddy Bo Chris, Duke on TV. Our buddy Chris, a black guy, he goes, I watch the show all the time. Yeah. He, goes, he goes, I had the car. Yeah. He goes, I had a 124 scale General Lee with the cut flag on top. And no one in my family said anything about it. No one said, hey, that's wrong. However, Janine 
who is an attorney, Chris's wife, said that her parents would not even allow her to watch the show. Right. So I thought that was interesting only because of the flag. She said her parents didn't know what the show was about. It wasn't like they thought the show was racist. It was that they saw the marketing for it, saw that Confederate flag as being a prominent thing in the show and wouldn't let their kids watch it. You know, you, you want to compare it to other things, too, because I, I, I will say this. On the Twitter war that I had, there's not one African-American that said, hey, man, we need to keep the flag. It's no big deal. It's all these white bearded, you know, Civil War cap wearing reenactors that are going, you know, and, uh, you know and, and then Cooter, like you said, Cooter owns the shop that sells mm-hmm. Confederate flags. He's mad. Uh, people this, listen, if something pisses off 20 percent of your countrymen, why would you want to keep it? Right. That's it. You know, your countrymen, how loyal are to you to your country that you would actually fly a flag that was from a bunch of people who tried to split up your country? Why would you do that? What, like, what is wrong with you? You keep, you keep, you keep claiming America, Constitution, Second America. Amendment, but when it comes down to it, you're willing to fly a flag that was against America. Yeah. There you go. Speaking of America, there are rumors, not yet confirmed, yes. but many articles out that Tom Cruise is leaving Scientology. I Fetus hope is he happy does. about that. I hope that you know the HBO a- doc is about to come out. Is just that's like, why. Yeah, that that's a- why. The major what? HBO documentary. Going clear? Yeah, there's an It's H- already been out. No, it's like there's getting a new one? No, it's getting its theatrical release. There's a new oh, one that no. focuses largely on him. Oh, the one that we watched was really eye-opening. They had him come up. He actually, they had him giving a speech about mm-hmm. the Thetans and, and, and what level he's. A lot of people at. are saying that it's career preservation, because. Um, oh no 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 no! Wait wait wait! No, he's religious. No no no! People don't care about your career if, if you're religious and this God is going to help you. Why would you? Why Do would they you believe need... in any kind? Is it a God or the alien? No, they believe in tech. Right. And L. Ron Hubbard. Ron Hubbard said specifically this was a tax dodge. This so entire thing was the a tax documentary dodge. is called Going Clear. It's coming out. It highlights the church's darker side, including alleged abuses against members and a level of greed unseen among other religions. The documentary takes aim at Cruz specifically. So a lot of he obviously is worried it's going to hurt his career. And I know, so it's only worth like seven hundred million dollars. Yeah, but it's like Bill Cosby. What's that worth if you can't walk on a street without people yeah. throwing things at you, I'm calling glad. you? I hope he's out of that for real. You know why? You know I'm glad because Tom, I don't care what you say about Tom Cruise. I, was, I watched uh, um, Live, Die, Repeat or, or Edge of Tomorrow. That dude's a movie star. He's a badass movie star. He always has been, and he's only like 5'4". I love Tom Cruise, man. I'm good. Get out of Scientology and get back to business. <laughs> Even though he's been killed kicking That's ass. a t-shirt. Yeah. Get out of Scientology <laughs> and get, get back, back to, to business. business. <laughs> Old people still kicking it. Oh, and now we got a rascal souped up. <laughs> we got my, my bingo blazer on. It's old people still kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't die. <laughs> Hold on. Go ahead. Um, this is in South Dakota. South. He's 101 years old. Um, so for all you people who say that you don't have time to work out or you, your knees hurt or you're whatever, he's 101 years old. He's taking part in this year's National Senior Games. Um, he is the oldest athlete in the competition. It's being held through July 15th in the Minneapolis area. What's his, what's his event? He's about to be 102, actually. Mm, before. I'm in the I'm in the 40 yard bow movement. No, <laughs> that's all I got left. He's a retired. I, I had my made a muesli this morning. I had grand old and two cups of coffee. Let's go for the brand muffin. <laughs> I was a gold medalist last year. Went through three pairs of pants. Crazy. I'm the best. I'm the gold standard. <laughs> 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 Eventually, you guys go, he's so stupid, we have to laugh. The retired rancher is competing in discus, shot put, wow. javelin, and, and softball throw events in the, yeah, in this National Senior Games. He, shot he put says and softball? He always tries to bring home gold medals. He took part in his first Senior Games in 1985. He says he can't do any more running and jumping events because one of his legs gave out, but he still exercises to keep his arms in shape. I love this guy. 102. When he's, he competes, he's going to be playing against people that are potentially forty years younger than. No, him. Yeah. this is the senior games, and I think in his division, everyone's over a hundred. 
which I, I would it. pay to oh, see. Oh, I want to go to this. Can we get this? Can we? Why can't ESPN two run that? You go X Games and then boom, Senior Games. Well, that'd be so. That'd be the best Saturday I've ever had in my life. Oh. ESPN two, get on that, man. You know, as much as I love old people, this would be like a dream date for me. Like you go to Six Flags and spend your tens of thousands of dollars. I did not. Oh my <laughs> God, you idiot! It did, look it up, people. <laughs> I'll go to Minneapolis to see the senior games. Dream so, come true. So to go to Six Flags, just to be clear. No, to to don't yep, even. No, it's like three times what it would normally cost for a ticket. For per you just said people could go look it up. Are you we'll sure you up. don't need some like golden password to even get let in for the? You know you need gold coins. I, you guys, I went to the. Web, I had to go through the website like a little way, like three or four pages, and, and you, I found you it. You filled out a credit check. Yes. And, uh... <laughs> yes. He had to put down collateral. He had to put down uh, our home. Uh, and you yes, guys suck. You needed ass. a little blue check on your All name right, and Twitter. All right, shut up. <laughs> By the way, people, step aside. The bumper cars are for Mr. Titus and Mr. Titus's group only. Move. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was our guy. He had, a, he had a tuxedo and a bowler hat. So don't okay. So don't forget Harry's dot com promo code Titus. Um, hook us up there. Also, go to ChristopherTitus dot com. See what is available. You have so many comedy specials. There's now. six ninety minute comedy specials currently available. Uh, go to ChristopherTitus dot com. I sign every one if you guys want to buy them. Uh, and, and like like forty minutes of each one was never aired on Comedy Central. While you're there, click on the support the podcast link, and it takes you right to Amazon. Bookmark yeah. that page so that it helps us out. Yeah. So what she's saying is, whatever you're buying something on the internet, just go through go. go ChristopherTice.com, click the Amazon link, takes you right to Amazon, doesn't cost you anything, helps us keep the doors open right here. So I can continue to take large groups of people to the VIP program at an amusement park. Um, or watch our videos on YouTube. Yeah, Christopher Titus TV. Oh, this Armageddon update, you guys got, you go check this out, it's so cool. And I also want to... start doing every week with it. I also, yeah, I want to give a shout out to a f- friend of ours um, who does amazing work, and we always like to promote our friends. Go to stevemothegreat.com. He did the coolest, he does fantastic famous comedians and things like that. Yeah. Paintings and... But contemporary comedians, too. New and old. But we have Charlie Chaplin... In our house, yeah. ...on our wall. Cool it is art. the coolest stuff ever. And so we just want to give him a little shout-out. Steve Mo, Steve, S-T-E-V-E-M-O, thegreat.com. Yeah. But if you want, like, a picture of Margaret Cho or, like, he does, he does uh, you know, real contemporary comics, too. It's really, We have some of the art in our house. Um, and that being said, thanks, guys. We're going to be in Come Dayton. Come see us, yeah. We're going to be in Dayton next week. The new show, uh, Born of the Defect. Bombshell's going to be there with me because uh, uh, Grandma's coming out to hang out with Mom. Uh, July 16th through the 18th. And then we're going to be that, in Dayton. After that, we're going to be in Vegas, the 31st right. through the 2nd. Right, 31st. And then one more. What's after that? There's... What? What's the, what's the one after Vegas? Well, that's in August. We're going to Philly. Oh, Philadelphia, like it. F- Helium in Philly is coming yep. up after that. Uh, so see us in Dayton, guys. Uh, thanks for listening to this podcast. Fetus, you said you, I think we kept you under 10 words. Sweet. Don't say anything. I'll keep it under 10. He's waving. He's, He's waving, waving to goodbye. you guys right now. For myself, uh, Fetus, and the lovely bombshell Ray. I Later. cannot. You just gave him billing above me. In the clothes. This is the you, kind of stuff I've been talking about. I wasn't about. giving you a buff. I was giving you the, I was giving you the final billing because that's the closer. Mm-hmm. You're the closer. All right, let me go. All right, I'll do it. Right. For myself, the amazing bombshell Ray and fetus. Oh, and you nose wrinkled at the same time when you said his name. That was good. Later. Peace out. See ya. That wasn't right. See ya. There it was. There you go. Make it like if you want to be part of this, for God's sakes, do your job. <laughs>